Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. It's back, but this is the full version of the game. It's due to come out on the 6th of April 2018, so as this video is published, that is tomorrow, but we've got our hands on it a little bit early courtesy of the developers. So thank you very much developer folk, and yes, the new version has got all sorts of extra bits in. There's new buildings and animals and all sorts of other bells and whistles they've added in. I shall put a link up here to, uh, there's going to be a YouTube card appearing up here, to a video that I put together just looking at what's been added to the game. So the difference is, if you like, between the demo version and the full version, a card will appear up here somewhere or other, and you can click on that to go and have a look at that video if you like. But we are going to dive straight into free mode. So we're going to have a series of this. It's going to be a series in free mode. Let's see how we get on. If this is sort of your thing, if you find this interesting, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with what we do on our farm. So the farm name, we're going to keep this as we uh, had it last time. This is going to be, uh, let's put the, the lovely people's farm. There we go. Because you people watching are the lovely people. And uh, yes, you can have a farm because you can join in. You can, you know, feel like you work there or something. If you do, please come and muck out the, uh, muck out the animals, please, because I don't want to do that. Uh, terrain seed, yeah, whatever, that'll do, <laughs> that's fine. Difficulty, I'm going to keep it on medium, because we did that before with the previous runs. And cash, I did toy with putting this up to 2 million, but then I thought, mm, yeah, there's no sort of element of risk there. But 2 million would let us build all the fancy new things, all the exciting new buildings there are. And, you know, we could go, yeah, let's build production things and this, that, the other, and put all the different animal things in. But I just think it would remove some of the challenge. It removes some of that risk of, oh, am I going to get enough money? I need to get some money now kind of thing. 250k is, I, I don't think you could do it on 250k. I think that's not an impossible. 750k has that kind of balance of, yes, I've got some money and I'm you know not in immediate risk of going bankrupt, but I need to be a little bit careful. I need to be a little tiny bit careful because I can easily lose lots of money by just building willy-nilly stuff, which we saw in possibly season one of this, of the demo version. So um, I suppose technically this is season three, is it? I guess this is season three. So there we go. Let's kick off the lovely people's farm season three of Farm Manager 2018. But this is the first one, which is the full version of the actual game. And here we go. So it's begun and we're looking okay. It's a fairly good plot. It looks fairly flat. There's no great big bodies of water sticking into it or rivers or anything. A few trees this side. This side is kind of empty. And we've got a couple of little big things already. So house for a permanent employees and an owner's house as well. So we need to build both those things. Right. I've been thinking about this because they've added an awful lot of new things. So if we go down here, they've now got all the different animal buildings in. So they've got the small rabbit warrens. We've got the beekeepers like we did before. We've got chickens, but then the chickens uh, also in the chicken coop, you can have... I mean, so that's turkeys and ducks. And then I don't know kind of what the middle one is. I don't really know what the other animal is. Pheasants or something? I don't know. Um, cow shed, we had that before. We've got the pigsty. That's exciting with pigs. And we've got a small shed for goats and sheep which is very exciting so what i think we're going to do is we're going to go down the animal route we're going to go down the animal route now they have added a lot of other crops and stuff in as well so there's now actually yeah there's corn and there's buckwheat and various other bits and bobs you can put in i think this might be a good start the um from previous experience when we played the other games the uh going down the farming route as in the uh, sort of crops route was quite hard it was quite hard and very very expensive for not much out uh, not much result at the end of it sorry there's a lot of outlay for very little sort of income at the end of it you have to be working an awfully long time on the fields to get sort of money back to pay off the uh, big machines you've had to buy the big farm equipment and then invest in all the sheds that you need to put the farm equipment in and all that kind of stuff so we are going to have some farms uh, some fields, sorry, with grass and stuff in. Because if we're going to have animals, the animals could eat silage and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to have an orchard as well. So we're going to have some of that. But um, yeah, I think we might concentrate more on the animals. I think that might be a good idea. And another thing uh, I'm going to do is we are going to centre everything. So in the middle, we're going to have the warehouses in the middle which I think is quite a good idea. So the warehouses, these things just here, there's a few different ones now. Uh, we're not going to have this, the uh, cooling one just yet because there is now a warehouse with cooling, which is exciting. So I think we go for like a small warehouse and a barn. We get both of those in. The barn's got 100,000 capacity. The small warehouse has 25,000 capacity. And we build them kind of in the middle build them in the center and then we build all the animal things around it our little house can go wherever i'm not so bothered about our house do you know what i might even just tuck it over here in the corner our house is kind of just a bit of an inconvenience really it's 80 grand 
It doesn't do anything. It just doesn't do anything. It could be literally anywhere. I could just cram it in the corner over here, out of the way, and it'll you know quite happily still function. So yeah, should we just put that right in fact? Let's twist it round. Let's put it right in the corner. Just put it out of the way. So that'll do. And it costs us quite a lot of money to build our house. Can I not just live in a smaller house, please? That would be ideal. That'd be lovely. Thank you. And then we want to build sort of around here. So yeah, we want to put the warehousing, so the barn and the small warehouse, in the centre. And then have the uh, sort of animal sheds and coops and whatever they are, barns and stuff, around the edge. So kind of over that side and over that side. So let's see how we're going to do that, shall we? So if we get ourselves, that's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. Yeah, I'm off to a good start. So the barn. The barn is here. Now, you could. The barn ha does have... I know, it's only got one door. So you could put that there, but then that's on the road. And I kind of think everything is going to be happening in here. Everything is going to be happening in here. So I think we put the barn with the back to it, the road, like that. I think that looks like a good idea. And let's move Tom on a little bit, just so the little border lines appear. There we go. And then we're going to put ourselves the small warehouse next to that. Oh, we need to twist it round a little bit so I can see where the front goes. So that's level. So we drop the small warehouse in. Splendid. So that's like that. And then we are going to have double road. Now, the roads do have a purpose now. Whereas before it just said dirt road and paved road. Now you can see on a paved road, everything is 80% faster, which is jolly exciting. So we're going to have double paved roads going this way, if it lets me. There we go. Like so. So in front of there, we can have double paved roads because lorries and stuff come in here. Lorries and stuff will be dropping off goods and picking up stuff we're selling and all that kind of stuff. So um, we want to have double roads just to, just to make sure that lorries and trucks and whatever can pass each other on them. So that's good. So we've got our house in the corner, which no one cares about because it doesn't have any bearing on the game at all. And then we've got two storage areas, which is good. The next thing we might want to do is sort out where we're going to put uh, the stuff for the manure storage because we're having lots of animals. We're going to be creating lots of manure that we can store. So we might want to put those in the middle somewhere. They're kind of in the middle, aren't they? They're possibly erring a little bit to the left, but that's fine. Whatever. It's sort of middling. It's middle of the road-ish. And um, and then also silage as well. So I think what we're going to do now is... that What we're going to do now... Let's do this. In fact, let's get that road. Let's go back and get the road. Just drag the road up there like that for now. Let's do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. The tree topples over in sympathy. Bye-bye, tree. Do that. Uh, and another one kind of like that and one just there okay so now the road's a bit bigger and it's a giant age and helicopters come land in it and it's all cool no no helicopters of course not uh, then we're going to have this so this is manure storage facing that way which is lovely and then if we can flip it round i think we can have manure storage that way as well yes okay that's very cool and then we can get ourselves uh, the same thing. Where's the silage thing? There, right, it's in production. So storage for silage. Now that's only going to be used... I think we might need one of those. Now the only thing is, I don't know what all the animals need. I know the cows eat silage, because we've had cows before. I don't know what the other things eat. Like, do pigs eat silage? I imagine they would. Pigs eat anything, don't they? Pigs eat anything. So let's put one silage thing there for now, and we'll leave that blank just in case. So that means the cows kind of need to be over this side. And that might possibly be a bit of an issue. Let's go in and um, have a look at the size of the cow shed. The size of a cow shed. Right, they're quite big. Right, the cow sheds are... Oh, they're very big. They're very big. But if we back it onto it like that, that's fine. So they can come out. We'll have to build a little road system going around the edge. That's fine. We can do that. We can deal with that. So if we have a road going along the side, they can nip out get some food from wherever, from the warehouses, run in, and then the cows can be fed. So yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's do that. So in there, cow shed, and it's, this is only a small cow shed as well. So if we want the road to be double going along there, let's do that. So let's put a cow shed. Oh, can we actually, can we get two cow sheds? Cow sheds are good. We do like the cow sheds. Uh, can we have one there? And then move time on a little bit. Draw the walls round it, please. There we go. Bishy bashy bosh. And another one uh, there. Yeah, okay. That's not ideal, is it? Yeah, okay. So double road going through the middle again, just to make sure. Uh, yeah, let's drop that there and that there. So two cow things and some more road going down the middle like that. Yay. Oh, no, just a single road <laughs> because it takes up kind of one and a half tile. Do you know what? 
that is absolutely fine. I'm not that bothered by that. That's that's fine. We can cope with that. That's good. So we've got two cow sheds. And now, now we step into the unknown, really. We've got bees. Bees are fine. I can cope with bees. Yay! We got given some money for building a thing that we have to build. That's good. How much did we get? Eight grand. Okay. How much are they to build? Are they 80 grand? Or oh, 30 grand? Okay, so it only costs... Oh, no, that's not... No, 80 grand. It does seem a little bit rubbish that we get 8 grand back from a thing that we have to build. But okay, that's fine. Uh, and then, this is where we're going to go into the unknown. Because I don't know how this is going to work. I really don't know how this is going to function. We've had bees before. That's fine. We've got rabbits. We've got chickens, which we've had before. And then pigs. And then a small shed for cows and... Uh, cows for goats and sheep. Now, I don't know how that's going to work. Ah, right. The pig ones are relatively small. The pig styes are fairly small. Okay, that's interesting. Let's pause time a second. What other things can we have? Can something fit down here quite neatly? What about that? Oh, they're oh, they're quite they're bigger than I thought they were going to be. They are bigger than I thought they were going to be. Okay. Should we put these up here just in case we need some more warehousing space? Should we put everything else up here? So that road can kind of come through the middle. And then that can go there. So we'll have one of those which was for goats and sheep, which is exciting. I like the sound of that. Paved road. Yeah, do you know what? Paved road all the way to the end. There we go. It doesn't seem to want to go onto that tile. There we go. Paved road. Paved road through that rock. The rock just sinks into the ground in sympathy. Splendid. That's very good. Okay, so we've got that building in. Bish, bash, bosh, bosh, bosh. Walls appear around the edge. Huzzah. And now, so we've got ourselves a small shed for goats. That's good. Pigs. Let's get pigs. Now, the only thing is, yeah, I don't know what pigs eat. I don't know what the food requirements of these things are. So, if it's silage, I kind of want to put it over this side. But if they don't eat silage, they can go over here. And I really don't know. It is total pot. Look, it's a total guess. I don't know what they eat. I've not got a clue. So, um, we could just put them just here. Or should we just put it there? That'll do. That'll do. We'll put a pigsty just there for now. We can always put another one in if we want to on the other side, or we could flip it around and put another road down here. Okay, so we've got ourselves now a small shed, a pigsty, a small cow shed, a uh, chicken. Oh, goodness me, the chickens, the breeding of the chickens. <laughs> ah, oh, I'm not looking forward to doing that. Uh, bees and then rabbit warrens. Okay, how big are the rabbit warrens? Oh, they're tiny, they're teeny tiny. Oh, okay, they're really small. Oh, I thought they'd be a little bit bigger than that. Okay. Well, could we just put one on the end of here for now, just to see if that works? So I don't really know what they do. I don't know what we do with rabbits either, apart from obviously eat them. That's fine. But I don't know what else the sort of function of the rabbits is. So let's put that uh, there. Do you want to pop that there? Yeah, okay. Let's drop a rabbit thing just there, just for fun, just to see what happens. And we can put more over here. This could be a rabbit area or something if we want to. If they become really useful, we could have that as rabbits. Right, bees. Oh, I love bees. Bees are good. Let's have... Um, bees are good. Bees are good. Let's have lots of bees. Because bees were good. Honey was useful last time. Honey was a good a good sort of profit maker. And I think, from what I've seen in this, there are different types of honey. I think, on the market, there's buckwheat honey and colza honey. And multi-flower honey. So let's have a look what sells most. So 17.2 for the multi-flower. Buckwheat is 33 and colza, oh, because that's not that sort of middling, that sort of what, twenties possibly. So the colza honey is indeed very, very, very profitable. Now colza is a crop you can grow. So if we have colza on our farm, does that mean that the bees just work on that? Like how do we tell the bees where to go? It's like bees, right, bees, Psst, come here, bees. There's some colza over there, mate. Oh, you oh, you want to see the pollen on that? That is amazing. You should go and absolutely get that pollen. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm not entirely sure. So, um, I'd like some beekeepy things, but I don't know how this is going to work. Could we put them here? So, could we have them like that? Uh, and then have a road down the middle. And just have a couple here, like just next to my little house. Because that's fine. Because my little house is irrelevant. It doesn't matter what happens to my house. Like that. And then uh, we need the thing on. We need that there. And double road that. So that can come down here. That's probably good because that allows me to get into my house. Uh, uh, oh, no. I can't build that. Oh, no. Because I was selecting the, the my gate. <laughs> I was selecting my front gate. So a couple of B things there. And then maybe a couple on the other side. Like there. I can't push it nearer the road. Okay. There. 
and there. Oh no, I haven't got space behind these to build the hives, have I? Oh yeah, okay, right, no, don't do that one. No, don't do that. Knock that down immediately. Destroy this building. Oh no. Oh no. Can I destroy it and get my money back? No. <laughs> okay, how much is one of those? How much money did I just waste on that? Oh, only two grand. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, I can cope with that. So yeah, let's put another one here and then we can have all the height. Why can't I build one just there? What is the problem with building it just there? What does it say? It just goes quick, quick. But I can build one just there, fine, but not just here. Uh, okay. Oh, I can build one right in the end. That's a bit weird. I don't know why. I don't know why I can't do that. Okay, well, let's build one there. We can probably fit all those hives in there. That's fine. And then another one across the other side. Let's wait. Let's wait until they're built and then build the other things. So what else do we need? What other animal buildings do we want? So we've got rabbits. We've got bees. Chickens. I don't particularly want chickens because chickens were annoying. Chickens were a bit annoying when I had them. And I <laughs> didn't put them into season two because they were just a constant nagging message of... Um, of people of the thing coming up going, hey, they're ready for breeding. It's like, yes, I know. Just do it automatically, please. Just breed the chickens automatically, for goodness sake. But I do want to see what happens with, like, turkeys and, and geese and whatever the other thing is. Pheasants or whatever it is. I don't know what they are. Turkeys and ducks and other things. Other animals. So I can't roll over it because I can't see. It doesn't tell me. So, um, yeah, let's see. In fact, can you go to market and find out? Market. What, what Can we find out what they're worth? Wow, sheep's wool. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, we've got all sorts in here. Does it tell us the price of animals? Uh, okay, chicken meat. No, so it's not a chicken. Cows, ducks, goats, goose. So a goose, uh, a turkey, and uh, a goose, a turkey, and yeah, and a mystery, a mystery bird. Okay, I might have missed it. I don't know. So um, yeah, who knows? Who knows what the other bird might be? I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out. I'm sure in due course we will find out as we play through the game. Okay, so now these are being built. This is good. So we need these in. And then it should give us a clearer picture of what everything looks like on our farm. Now this, of course, at the minute we're going to have to buy in some stuff. We have to buy in some grass and uh, cereal and, and whatever else made up the silage. What made up silage? Grass, crops and straw. So that's what we'll do. So we'll buy that in for now, just to make that, because it's probably not that expensive to buy all the stuff and then build it ourselves. And eventually, we'll start working on grass, which is good. Uh, bet with a neighbour. Prove you're the best farmer in the area and breed six rabbits before the 27th of the 7th to win $5,800. Oh, lovely. That could be quite good. 5800 That's very good. And I see that rabbits are for meat. So rabbits can be used for meat. Which is interesting. Now, this, this may offend people. Apologies if you're a vegetarian or vegan or whatever, but there may well be some killing of animals in this because it's a farm. It's a farming game and I've gone down the animal route. So, um, yeah, apologies. <laughs> apologies if that is offensive in any way, shape or form. But there we go. So everything is in. Everything's kind of in place. Oh, no, I haven't got the worker houses in yet. That's fine. They're going to go in the middle as well so they can kind of rush out and do stuff. Uh, breeding goats. Okay, right. So we've got... That is goats. Okay, so why, how do we pick sheep? Uh, animals. Okay, so we can buy a load of goats. Sheep, I want to pick sheep. How do we pick sheep? Is there a special option when you go to build the building that makes sure you need to pick sheep? Allow us for the breeding of goats and sheep, but I can't seem to get sheep. Ah, I, won I wonder, right, hang on a minute, let's go to here. Training. Okay, is there a thing that lets us... Is there a thing that lets us have sheep? So it could be one of these. So that's maintenance of machines. It's not going to be that. Um, annual agricultural school increases the quality and quantity of the harvest. It gives access to specialised training. Workshop for fruit growers, beekeepers, farmers, breeding, farmers, workshop. Ah! Workshop for breeders of cows, sheep and goats. Industrial management training for sheep and goat farming. Poultry management training, rabbit breeders. Okay. Okay, I need that. That's the one that takes a year. It's going to take a year before I can get sheep. Good grief. Okay, I think we need to do that. Because I want to get all this stuff in there. If you don't have um, weeds and insects and fungi sort of stuff. Uh, unless you learn this. Okay, crikey. Okay, uh, first thing I want to do. I do want to do that. I'm going to bring the bills down a tiny bit. So two grand. Get that done early. That'll save us some money in the long run. Okay, so all the buildings are in place now. Do I go for chickens? Do I go for the irritation of having chickens? I think I might have to. I think I might have to grin and bear it and just go, yes, fine, okay, I've got some chickens, it's fine. So we've got cow sheds, that's fine. Two lots of manure storage, silage there, pigs, 
goats, which potentially might then go to um, go to sheep later once I've done that big load of research. Storehouses here, bees there, rabbits. So yeah, where can the chickens go? The idea was that everything kind of centres around these here. So yeah, let's put them in the middle. We can always put the uh, sort of workhouses over here or just here. Kind of want the road to go along the back here. So people can always get around. I kind of don't want them to be sort of hemmed in too much. Even though I've kind of done it just there with my house. But never mind, that's fine. So um, yeah, let's drag that down like that. And then have another bit there. I like the idea of the double roads. Just so if vehicles do come down, if they're buying or selling goods or whatever, um, they don't sort of have to wait and stuff. So let's just drag that out there and like that. There's an awful lot of trees around here. Sorry, trees. I'm very sorry. Okay, so chickens. Yes, fine. Let's have chickens. We're going down the whole animal route. Let's go for a chicken coop. Okie dokie. Yes, I don't particularly want to. I'm not particularly looking forward to the chickens and the nagging messages. Saying, oh, the chickens are ready to breed again and again and again. But okay, that'll do. Let's put a chicken coop just there. And we might be able to have other things in it. Again, I don't know. I don't know what we can have in it right now. It might just be chickens. And then later on we could change the animal in there to something else once we've got that research thing done. So now that's in. That's splendid. We are now going to need to... We can need to order some food in for things. I think that's probably a good idea. Let's get the food in before we actually do anything else. And we need some workhouses. Of course we do. Nope, we don't want that button. We want this. So let's have some permanent employees. Let's get a lot of those. Because they're going to be working on these things all year round. Because they are animals. And they are not going to go away. So let's have a workhouse just here. Why not? Does it fit in at the end? Uh, why not? Because it doesn't fit at the end. Okay, fine. Let's have a, a workhouse there then. <laughs> Let's have one just... Uh, can we tilt it around like that? One like that, possibly. So that can go just there. So that's eight people. How many people are we going to need? One, two, three for the silage, four, five, six, seven, eight, presumably nine for the rabbits. I guess that needs a person. So nine. So we're going to need at least two of these. So let's put another one in. Get ourselves another permanent uh, employee house. Should we just put it there next to that one? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's just drop it next to the uh, next to the pigsty. Mm, lovely. That's the des res. That's the one you want, isn't it? Uh, or there. Could put it just there. That would work in the middle as well. That would kind of work in the middle. Sat next to everything else. They can get easy access to some things. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, let's put it there. Let's put it there. Why the heck not? So we've got space for 16 people now, which is jolly exciting. Let's get some food in. So what can everything eat? So silage. We want to make some silage because that's useful. So grass, crops, and straw. Now, if I remember right, they're not actually that expensive. So buy grass. Can we just search for it, please? It makes it easier. Grass. Yep, grass. I don't know. Buy 5,000 grass. 1,000. That's not much at all, is it? The price is proper plummeted. So buy some grass. Uh, buy some crops, which is a little bit vague, I'll be honest. Crops is a bit vague. Let's buy a thousand of... How many did we buy of grass? <laughs> I can't remember. I've literally just done it. I've literally just pressed the button. I can't remember. 5,000. Okay. Let's get 5,000 of crops as well. Why not? They're not very much either. That is hardly anything. Okay, that's fine. And uh, what was the last one? Is it? Is it wheat? No, it's straw. Of course, it's straw. Yes. So we need some straw. So let's go to the market and buy 5,000 straw. There we go. Oh, the strawberries. Oh, it's so exciting. Right. 5,000 straw. 732. Yeah, fine. Okay, do that. That's fine. It makes me wonder whether it's worth just buying in the silage rather than having to make my own. Is it worth just buying it rather than doing all this stuff for it? I don't know. Ah, uh, whatever. It's done now. We can have an employee. We'll look at that later. We shall fire them if needs be. Um, okay, so we've got some of that in. So they can eat silage. That's fine. They can have silage. It's all set to auto-manage, which is... Yeah, I don't know if I want that on, actually. They can always eat silage. Uh, oh, no, there, there is no silage currently, is there? It's going to be a bit sad. Then. It's going to go, no, there's no silage. Okay, we need to obviously set this to you do all those things. And there's no one working here. That's fine. So, uh, yeah, okay, that, that, and that... Okay, so this is the mix of silage, I think. I think this is the mix. So yeah, so 31, 33, 34. That looks pretty good for silage. That's a nice blend. A lovely silage blend. Oh, a classic vintage of silage. Delicious. Okay, so they can eat that. We should get paid some money for building a house. That's jolly exciting. It's raining. Right, what can they eat? Uh, right, pause. Uh, wheat. Let's get some wheat in. Let's just get a load of wheat and put it in a silo. 
Let's just get a wheat silo. Bung it just here. Everything can eat wheat. So do you, what do the pigs... What do the pigs eat? What do you have? Uh, you have wheat as well. Wheat and corn. In fact, corn might be quite fun. Let's see what the cheapest thing is. Wheat and corn. Yeah, okay. They can have wheat and corn. What do the goats eat? Uh, grass. Silage. Ah, okay. So the goats eat silage. That's useful. So we've got silage and corn and wheat. So let's get ourselves... Yeah, now can we put corn in the thing? Can we just not have it in a silo? Because that's really, really, really annoying. Because we have to build another building. I don't know. Uh, wheat. Can we buy just wheat? Are we allowed to do this? I don't have enough warehouse space yet. Okay, so I don't have a silo. Okay, what about corn? Can I buy some corn? No. Okay, right. I need to build a silo then to put that in. I think they're in here. Yep, there's now three different sizes of silo as well. So that's got a maximum capacity of 60,000. That's got 200,000. And the massive one's got 500,000. Do you know what? A medium one will probably suffice for right now. So let's put that in the middle as well. Part of the sort of the plan, if you like. Oh, it's a shame I can't get that in there. That'd be really good if I could have dropped that in there. Uh, let's put it next to the employee house. That'll do. Drop that in just there. Right, we might need to hurry time on for them to get that built. So I don't think we can... Um, I don't think we can do anything. We can't obviously buy the stuff. It's going to go, no, there's no storage available, you fools. But stuff is going in here. This is good. We've got five... Ah, it's telling me what I've had delivered. 5,000 crops have been delivered. Okay, that's good. That's useful. This silo should be fairly quick to build, I would have thought. Bish, bash, bish, bash, bash. Building, building, building. Boom, and a silo magically appears. Okay, now let's go and get ourselves... Uh, what are we going to buy? Corn. Let's get some corn. Because that looks nice. But how much is corn? Sort of 0 0.92 or something. As opposed to wheat. Which is... Uh, wheat which is... 0 .2. Oh, that's far cheaper. That's far cheaper. Let's buy 5,000 wheat. And we can put it in there. In the silo. Right, okay. So everything should... Should have food. Oh, what do rabbits eat? What do rabbits, gosh damn well, eat? Grass. Okay, and then all the sort of various fruit things. They eat strawberries and, and raspberries. And then obviously, yes, peppers and cucumbers and all these other things. It's very exciting. There's so many new things. So many new things. So now that's in. We've got our basic setup of the of the animals, I believe. That's, that's good. This is a good start. I'm happy with this. Right, bees. Let's get ourselves uh, hives. Again, mellifluous flowers. Yeah, so, ah, it's telling us. I see. So if there are these flowers around, they will go to them. So if we've got buckwheat or whatever that other one was, it will go to them, which is fine. Whereas if it's not around, presumably they just create generic, you know, pollen honey. Whereas if these are here, it goes, ah, yes, we've got actual specific flowers we can go to and you make a different type of honey. Okay, well, let's buy all of the hives. Let's get these done as much as we can. So, uh, yep, we can't rotate oh the rotating of the hives is a little bit strange the hives are always going to face that way are they okie dokie right one uh two let's just try and space it out a little bit uh they can be like that i think actually that's not so bad can we bring that back like that yeah like so and yeah another one at the back can we do that can we just fit that in very very crudely at the edge okay that's perfect that's beautiful. And it's next to here. And yeah, the bees can look out. They can look out of the cows. They can have a chat. They can have a lovely chat about what it's like to be animals and insects. Uh, ten tomatoes. Okay, yeah, yeah. We do want greenhouses as well. There's an awful lot of setting up going on, isn't there? It's almost like I vaguely know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, hives. Buy more hives. Okay, so you've got some there. So can I build them along there? No, because the, the road is kind of counting as going into just there. Okay, that's not ideal, is it? Maybe we'll put these hives behind here. So one, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, it's going to be one, it's own. Seven, eight, uh, nine. And then, yeah, let's have the preferred hive just outside the side. There we go. That's everyone's favourite hive. That's the best hive. So for now, we'll just do that. We'll leave that like that. And we can put more bee things in if we like, because they do make some good money. The bees do make good money. Honey is very profitable. So now, obviously, we need people. We've got no animals, no people. There's nothing going on. But also, this then leads us on to an important decision about what we want to do with all the animals that we are going to have. So we're going to have cows, and cows are going to be making milk, which is jolly exciting. And I'm assuming there is goat's milk mentioned, so I assume that the goats are going to produce milk as well. They can have 15 of those. That, that could make quite a lot of goat's milk. Um, pigs. 
What are we going to do with pigs? We're going to have pigs and we're going to feed them. And then what are we going to do with them? I don't know. Chickens. What are we going to do with the chickens apart from sell the eggs for not very much money? And all this kind of stuff. We've got rabbits. So we need to figure out the production element of this now. So we could just sell the pigs. We could just sell them and go, yeah, right. We've reared some pigs. Bosh. Sell them. Splendid. All sorted. However, I think it's probably far better to invest in some production buildings. And the small ones aren't that expensive. They're not that costly. The juice factory is 100 grand. I'd like to get one of those because I think it just sounds tremendous. I'd like to get a load of apples. We are going to have an orchard, so we could get one of those later. What I think we're going to do is we're going to have a small milk processing plant to make a load of cheese and butter, I believe, is in there. And I think we have a small slaughterhouse. Sorry, animal lovers. But um, we're going to have a slaughterhouse as well that allows meat production. So we can get meat off of some of our animals as well, which is jolly exciting. I think we build them over here at the end here. Or we could build them across the road, actually. We could build them across the way. That might be quite nice. Have a bit over here where we've got sort of production stuff going on. Yeah, let's do that. We... Okay, they're massive. That's a small one, is it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. How much is the grass and seedlings production? Oh, that's tiny. <laughs> Why is it so big? Why are they so vast? Uh, okay. How big is the slaughterhouse? Oh, the slaughterhouse isn't that big. Maybe it's just the one, that one there. Where is it? Production. Yes. That one. What about the food factory? Oh, that's quite big. The frozen food factory is quite big as well. Uh, okay. Yeah. So let's get a small milk processing plant. And I think we put them we put that directly opposite. Let's put it directly opposite. Like that. Oh, we've finished that training. Good. Okay, so our bills are going to be a tiny bit cheaper. So if we put that there. My goodness, that is huge. So put the milk processing plant thing just there. That's that's a, that's very expensive. And that can have roads going down either side of it, actually. That's quite nice. That's quite handy. So we'll, we'll build some roads down the side. And one just there. And one just there. And going down just here. And next to that, I think we then build ourselves a slaughterhouse. Now, I might be getting way ahead of myself. This might be really complicated to implement, but I just kind of like the idea of having these sort of buildings. So instead of just going, yay, we've got cows. Let's sell the cows. We can actually do something with the meat on the cows. And yeah, we can do something with the milk that comes from them and all that kind of stuff. So let's build the slaughterhouse kind of there. At that, that angle. There we go. So the final thing we need to do is get people in to look after the animals and then buy the animals. And then I think we'll call it a day. So we need one, two, three, four, five to look after the chickens, six, seven, eight people possibly to look after all the animals and stuff up at the top there. So yes, we need eight people. So let's go in here, staff list. No, hire people. We want people that's got this little animal thing on them. Because if they have that, they're good at looking after animals. And it affects the collection speed of animal products. So we need eight of those. So we'll have... Oh no, two of them need to be B people, actually, don't they? So we'll have you. You're good. Uh, yeah, you can go just there. That's fine. Oh, we get a little thingamabob. That's lovely. Uh, you're good at looking after bees. So you can go in that one. Is there anyone else good at looking after bees? Is there anyone else B? You, you're good at bees. Eva Burns, that's good. So there's three people. That's good. Let's reassign these automatically so they don't appear in the thing. So, Brooke, Wood, yep, yeah, and you can be Eve Burns. Okay. You, then, can go in Aria Chapman and look after those cows. Now we need some more people. So, let's hire... Is there not a hire button? Oh, it's at the bottom there. Now, I think when you do this, when you go back in, it refreshes the list. You get an instant, immediate sort of refreshed list. Yeah, because we didn't have these before. Uh, so we'll have Jade and Kelly to look after the other cows down there. So that's good. Uh, Lottie Graham, we might have to train you up a bit. You're not very good. Oh, you're very good. Ira Johnson. Yeah, we'll have you. You can go into the other house and look after, say, the pigs. Uh, okay. No, we need, to go, we need to go away and back in again. It's a little bit cheaty, but I'll take it. Uh, you're okay. Three out of five. That's okay. We'll put you in the other house. So that's good. Now what have we got? So you are going to be looking after... Uh, the oh no, who's in who's in this house that isn't doing anything? Who was that? Jaden Kelly can look after the cows. Yep, that's good. And then you can look after the pigs. You can look after the goats. Okay, so that's looking good. We need one more person in this house to look after the chickens. So let's hire another person just here. 
to look after chickens. Anyone meeting the skills? Three out of five. Four out of five. And you're quite strong. You're quite expensive as well. But you'll keep going for longer, which is good. Or four out of five. Bobby Collins. Let's get you, Bobby Collins. You can be there. Splendid. Bobby Collins into there. Then we want someone who's strong, who can go and work in this silage thing, and who's got no sense of smell, probably. Um, two out of five. Anyone with a big, strong arm thing that's really strong? Four out of five out of five. No, you're very expensive. You can do animals as well. Oh, Oliver Price is very skilled, but also very expensive. Theodore Bird. You're cheap, and you're big and burly and strong. You will do just fine, my good man. You are splendid. And you, Theodore Bird, you've got a good name as well, can go and work on making silage. Lovely. Um, and, oh no, no, we don't want you, do we? No. You know, you're not the person we want, unless we can train you. Of course, no, we don't want you at all. Can we fire you? Can we, can we get rid of you now? Release. Presumably I can't release him because we've only just got him. No, we want someone with production skills, don't we? Of course we do. What an idiot. Of course we do. Hire someone with production skills. So it's the little sort of factory symbol that nobody appears to have on this particular thing. Okay, well, let's go back and refresh that list. Anyone? Can anyone work in a factory of any kind? You. You can also look after animals, which means you're a little bit more expensive than I would like. Refresh that again. Are they all coming back up as the same people? Uh, I suspect they might be. Yeah, okay, let's not do that then. Let's go all the way back out and back in again and see if that's changed that in any way. Now, yeah, we want people that are good in a factory, please. Four out of five. 732 because you're also good at working in orchards. I don't want that right now. I just want someone who's good at working in a factory and that's it. Uh, Elsie Nicholson's okay. And you can do bees as well. That's fine. Yeah, we'll have you just there. That's fine. And we'll swap you. So clear out you. You can be Elsie Nicholson. That's fine. And then in here, can we just keep you? I don't think you're very good. I can't release you though. I can't fire you because you're either doing something or you've not been there long enough to fire. Never mind. We'll keep Theodore Bird around. I'm sure he's got. I'm sure he can do something. And uh, then we're going to need two more production-y people to come down here. We might build another house. Another employee house down here. So they don't have to keep walking all the way back up there to go home and have a little rest. Could build it next to here. In fact, that would make sense, wouldn't it? So the final thing we shall do in this part is just drop another permanent employee house in down here. Drop that in. And what we'll do is, we're going to finish now, I think. I think we've got everything set up. We've got everything set up. We've got people in. He, whoever's in there is making silage, which is good. So we've actually got silage being produced. Slowly but surely, but you know, we're making some here. We're getting silage made, which is good. So the cows and that can eat silage. There's no animals anywhere at the minute. So the people are just sort of pootling about, looking after nothing. I don't quite know what they're doing. Why don't they stay at home? I've no idea. Uh, so we've got beekeepers. Ah, we haven't assigned anyone to this either. So we'll have to do that as well. Is this full yet? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we've got one more person. Who's good at looking after animals? Anybody good at looking after animals? Anyone? Must be someone. Is that an entirely no animal people on there? Okay, fine. Let's give it another go, shall we? Animal people. Where are you? There, Lucy Alley. You will do just fine. You come there. Lucy Alley can go and look after the bunnies. Oh, you've got a very enviable job. You're going to look after the bunnies. Yay. Um, and there we go. I think what we'll do is we'll leave it for now. How many employees does that need? That needs three. And that needs three. So six employees will be working in our sort of production bit. And next time out, because we've still got 326 grand, uh, we'll have to buy the animals, which might be quite a considerable outlay. And then um, we'll see what happens with these. But we also want to then get a field. I want an orchard, because I want apples, because apples were profitable. And I'd quite like to get a little juice plant thing. But before we do any of that, before we do any of that, we are going to go into here. And we are going to go and do this fairly substantial bit of training here. It's one that costs 100 grand that opens up everything else. So let's get that done. Let's get that done now. Because I think that will unlock the option to have like um, cows and sheep. and Well, we've got cows and sheep. Uh, no, no, we've got sheep, have we? Cows and goats. But we have to have sheep and it's got poultry training and all that kind of stuff. So yes, it'll unlock all the stuff that we need for our particular farm of what we're going for here. And um, I know it takes a year. But years do roll around relatively quickly in this game, really. If you put it on full speed and just let stuff happen, it kind of works. So I think we might do that. However, I just had a, I've just had a quick thought. Just had a quick thought. The wind farm. The wind farm is a nice cash cow to get that in early. That's actually quite a good idea. Right, scrap what I just said. Ignore that. We're doing this first instead. We're going to get the wind farm. 
And when that's done, slap a wind farm in, then do that big expensive training and just leave it going for a long, long, long time. But let's pause it because for now we are done. But yeah, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. And I like the fact there's these big shiny, shiny buildings. It looks very cool. Let's just go and have a quick, a quick look at the shiny building. Oh, look, it's got garage doors and everything. It's got big metal walls. Yes. Oh, and aircon. Beautiful, I suppose. Yes, that's the meat one. And yes, this one will also have aircon, I would hope. Given that it's dealing with dairy products, I would imagine it has to be a bit cooler. Look, it's got proper pipe work and everything. And one thing I did spot, actually, where was it? On the um, on the doors to one of the barns on the previous video I made. Um, just sort of looking at the new features and stuff. There's an awful lot of detail going on in here. I mean, you zoom right in and some of it goes a bit sketchy. But the walls look good. And look, the wood. The wood's got, you know, proper actual sort of... I don't know what they're called in the wood, but the effects in the wood. It looks really good. There's an, I like the attention to detail. I'm very, very impressed. So next time out, animals. We'll get to look at all the animals. We've seen cows and chickens before, but everything else might be quite exciting and unusual. So um, yeah, so that should be good. I was going to say, we've seen another one, but no, you don't see the bees. The bees are too tiny. The bees are too small. Um, so yeah, we'll get these into, into play. We shall get ourselves an orchard which might mean that we need to get some um, people in to operate machinery. We could put that over here. They could live in this house. So maybe put an orchard over here and then buy ourselves tractors and things. There's different machines that we can get. There's a new tractor and there's an orchard sprayer and all that kind of stuff as well. So yes, there's plenty to do. And then yeah, later on, maybe get fields with strawberries in and go strawberry picking and all that kind of stuff and get a juice plant. It's all very exciting. I'm possibly getting a little bit ahead of myself. So there we go. For now, I'm calling it. I'm calling time on it for now. But yes, we shall come back. We shall come back. Obviously, we'll come back because it's it's a lot of fun and it's a lovely, lovely game. So hopefully you have enjoyed the return to Farm Manager 28. And if you have, please do leave a like. And if you are not already subscribed, please do so in order to keep up to date with what we get up to on our farm. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. How are we doing? You've just circumvented the queue. You, Sarah, cheat. Oh my goodness me, there's 12 million people that just come in from an airplane. Are you a skeleton? Are you just Skeletor? Is that all it is? You, Maddo. You are a pain. You are a scourge upon this earth. People are urinating on the floor. <laughs>